In the mid 60s, you know, there was the Funk Brothers up in Detroit, there was the Swampers and Muscle Shoals, and there were you guys, Booker T and the MGs, at Stax. And, and all with distinct sounds. Um, they were similar, I guess, uh, but all very distinct. And, and to me, to my ear, the Stax, what you guys were doing at Stax was a little, it, it almost seemed simpler which as we all know is really more difficult, but it had that, sim that's why so many musicians gravitated and learned how to play guitar to a lot of those licks that you came up with. Right. Can you talk about just that, that difference in those rhythm sections? Well, I know a lot of it was just accidental. What I do know is that you just named a whole bunch of different rhythm sections and we were not, as far as I knew, in competition with anybody. Right. Now, we might have been on the radio in competition, but not in terms of writing songs or trying to sound like somebody or be, we just did what we did. Mm -hmm. The thing I did notice, like everybody else said, if somebody played a record, they knew where it came from. Mm -hmm. It was that distinctive. Yeah. And definitely at Stax Records, you knew it was a Stax record. Yeah. Until they started farming stuff out and cutting all over the place. Yeah. So it got a little difficult. <laughs>